bit you thought there wasn't going to be a stream tonight, did you? Hi everyone, welcome to the stream. Uh, super good evening to you, I guess, because it's quite late over here actually, but I felt like doing a little bit of an impromptu late stream because I didn't feel like streaming earlier tonight. I was kind of debating with myself whether or not I wanted to play a game tonight, but I actually kind of started feeling like, you know what, I want to do a, a, a one-off game tonight, so we're going to do a one-off game, and since the stream's a bit late tonight, this will be the only thing I'm going to do tonight, but tomorrow should be a fun day, because I know I'm going to be streaming tomorrow night. But yeah, before we get started, uh, Joe and Mac, if you guys remember, I might, you might remember this actually, like a couple months ago I streamed the arcade version of Joe and Mac 1, and I, I quite liked that game, like I played the SNES version like years ago, but I didn't play the arcade version until a couple months ago, because it's on the Switch. And I quite liked it, and then I followed that up by playing the arcade sequel, Joe and Mac 2. And I thought to myself, this is completely different from the first game, why, why is it the sequel? Well it turns out there's a real Joe and Mac 2, it's called Lost in the Tropics, and it's on the SNES. And it's actually in the SNES Online application, which I just discovered today. So I was thinking, you know what, I, I want to check this out. At least I would assume it's a real sequel. This one seems like an actual platformer and not like a weird arcade -y thing, like the other one that I checked out recently was. So yeah, there it is there, Joe and Mac 2, Lost in the Tropics. Uh, before we do that, apparently there's a bunch of new games I haven't checked. Oh yeah, there's a... What's that, Twin B? Pop Poppin' Twin B? Yeah, there's like a bunch of stuff I haven't checked. Oh, there's Panel de Pon. Not going to be checking that because I did Tetris Attack recently, but yeah, there, there's all the new SNES games that haven't... I, you can tell I don't use this application that much. But uh, I figure because this is on Switch and I stream two other Joe and Mac games on the Switch, let's play this one. So yeah, it's just going to be this game tonight. No other games because I started the stream quite late. But I'll be streaming Mortal Kombat 11 tomorrow night, so that's going to be fun. Let me fix the volume because I think the SNES games are much quieter than they should be. So for those who didn't watch me play the first Joe and Mac arcade game, it is a platformer where you play as Joe or Mac. I guess you play as Joe. I'm not sure which one player one is supposed to be, but it's a platformer where you play as a caveman and you beat up the shit out of dinosaurs. It was a pretty, pretty decent platformer. So yeah, I'm wondering what the second game is like. Also, I think I'm dropping frames a lot tonight. I'm not sure if that's going to steady itself out. I might have to restart the stream a couple times. Uh, I'm just going to... Wait, 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 one moment. I'm just going to throw that out for now so you can see what the fuck is going on because my internet is not being the most nice to me tonight. Oh, thanks, Switch Online application, for telling me that. Oh, God damn it! SN30 Pro... You know what? Fuck this controller. I'm using the Pro Controller. This fucking thing's been nothing but trouble lately, and it's really pissing me off. No. Right, I have to restart that real quick, sorry, I, now it's recognising the Pro Controller as Player 2, so I need to like fix this. Professional streamer. So, for context, my SN30 Pro Controller, as good of a controller as it is, has been having issues with the Switch, where it would just randomly press a direction without me pressing it. And it was working fine before I started the stream tonight, but now it's starting to like act up, and I'm like, nope, not dealing with that tonight. I'm gonna use this shitty ass D pad on the Pro Control. At least that one doesn't fucking press left on its own when I don't press anything for more than a second. Seriously, I don't know what's going on with that other controller. I don't know if it's broken or if it's just an issue with it. Anyways. Lost in the tropics, let's go. Let me make sure the controls are all set up correctly before we get started. So, jump. Right, okay, jump. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Right, okay then, just making sure. Oops. One second. I want stereo sound, not mono sounds. Why is it set to mono by default? So there's one player, two player, and two player super, whatever that means. Of course I'm gonna do one player, so... You know, like, I could have done like two player cooperative if, with like the Switch Online thing, but I'm not even gonna bother. I'm, I'm just playing the game as is. 
so I know this is a bit something different from my usual stuff, but one, I played the first Joe and Mac fairly recently, so this is going to be something of a companion piece to that, I guess. And secondly, uh, lately I've been wanting to do more one-offs in between my like multi-part series of games that I've been playing lately, so this fits in nicely with that. I was thinking of doing Streets of Rage 2 tonight, but I kind of didn't feel in the mood for that, so I'll probably do that later in the week. A caveman named Gork came and stole our great crown. Please bring it back to us. Can I speed this up? No. Oh, so this is a bit more of an open-ended exploration, exploration style platformer? Okay then. First go to Tiki Village. I'm not sure how long this game is. Oh, when I hit that, I go back inside. That's why I keep going back in. It never means. So you hit, you hit the gong to go in the doors. You don't. You, what's wrong with pressing up? Like, wh why is that not in this? You need to hit the gong to go inside, which is a little bit weird. No one's home. It's so lonely. Okay then. Well, that was a waste of five seconds of my time. I can't get in. What are you talking about? The door is wide open, dude. Go in. Okay then. This is a deceptively okay game. Yeah, I've, ne I've never played this. I didn't even know there was a sequel to the original Joe and Mac. Like, beyond that arcade game that I tried out that's on the Switch, like, eShop thing. Because if you go to the Switch eShop, they've got the arcade versions of Joe and Mac 1 and Joe and Mac 2, which is a different game from this one. Like, the arcade Joe and Mac 2, which is like an arcade like, Mario Brothers style game where you have to, like... If I recall correctly, you have to, like bag cavemen and then throw the, the bag to dinosaurs to kill them or something like that. It was like a very arcade game. It wasn't really a platformer at all. But yeah, this is more like an actual platformer like the first Joe and Mac. So when I eat the turkey, see I keep thinking the turkey's for help, but I think it's just like the seeds from Yoshi's Island, like you use the bones, <laughs> you spit the bones out to hit his ammunition. That's kind of funny, actually. Yeah, eat all the meat. I'm assuming that's a checkpoint. So I've got a dash button. Oh, right, okay, it's the L or R button. That's weird. It's a little bit different from what I expect from like a Mario style platformer. I don't know why I just picked up there, but I got something, a skull thing. Oh, it's a skeleton key, right, okay. So I need to find the skeleton key to open the door. Attack a house. Didn't they say I had to go to Tiki Hills or something, like T-I-K-I? -I? So I'm guessing I need to keep going this way to get there. Oh, Jesus. Look, it's me. Ride the worm. Oh, I see. So how's everybody doing tonight? Is my internet holding up? It seems like it stopped dropping frames now. It was like dropping a bunch of frames at the start, but I think it's evened out now. Prepare for a wild ride. Whoa, my head is spinning! Oh shit, I'm dead. I was gonna do a, a joke there about like... You know, how, you know how in Sonic Heroes, when you do like certain like loop-de-loop -loop set pieces and Tails goes, whoa, my head is spinning? Sometimes during those parts, Knuckles goes, what a wild ride. And when I when I saw the words wild ride, that was the first thing that came to my head. It was just like Knuckles going, what a wild ride. Oh, so what the fuck did I just do there? How, how did I do that? I, I just flailed my, my arms around for no reason. I, I don't know why I just did. And, and now I can't do it anymore. That that noise with the what would he would he call that particular instrument with like the the voice like the voice sample thing do, 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 do. that that part 
So I guess that this is like a Donkey Kong minecart segment. I guess you need to like jump. Yeah, you can jump here, right? Okay then. What a wild ride! Ah, there we go. Can I go in that gap there? Nope. Oh. So I thought it was like a door there, I was confused. I have to go downwards. I'm not sure if the meat in this game counts as like healing you or if it just gives you like bone ammunition to spit. Or if it does both. Oh, that one didn't even give me bones to spit. Okay then. Yeah, that just heals. Right, okay then. I'm assuming these donut things are currency because I can see some marked as 10. So I guess I need to get these so I can buy shit. I'm guessing this game has like an upgrade system of sorts where you can buy shit with it. So by the way, there's a spin-off to Joe and Mac called Congo's Caper, which has nothing to do with it other than the fact that it loosely ties into it somehow. If you looked closely during that intro cutscene, you would have seen Congo in the background. It was like a portrait on the wall for some reason. And I played that game and that game's actually pretty decent. Like JonTron, I think JonTron did like a video on like the Joe and Mac series like many, 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 many years ago, like way back when he was like an up and comer YouTuber. So I remember him talking about that on that really old YouTube video. But yeah, Congo's Caper is a pretty decent platformer. I don't think it's on the Switch Online thing though. Maybe sometime I'll, I'll check that out through other means. A Stegosaurus. Well, that seems alright so far. This is okay. It's, it's not... I, I think I like the first Joan Mac better so far, but maybe this will actually pick up. Oh, didn't realise he was still alive there. Oh, if you mash... I, th I think if you mash the attack button, you, like, flail your arms. I mean, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm doing that exactly, because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, I, I like it when platformers have, like, an edge-falling animation, kind of. Nighttime sweet dreams. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna ignore that Stegosaurus then. Oh, he's gonna wake him up, isn't he? Yep. Oh. Ah, Jesus. Well, that kind of sucks. Right, really? Really? I have to go all the way back here again? I hope this game has infinite continues. I still can't figure out how to get him to do that spammy attack, the thing where he fills his arms around. Because I got it to work at one point a couple times, but I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how I did that exactly. Can I skip this? No, I have to watch this again. I 
can't really do anything to harm him right now. Just got to run. I guess now. Oh, he's shite! Good fucking job, me. Right, okay, so this game has limited continues. Tell you what, we're gonna game over, I'm gonna start again because I want three continues to do that now. Sorry, I, I misjudged the physics of the platforming there when I was trying to get back to that middle platform, so I'm, I'm gonna call a mulligan mull on that and try again. Oh wait, this game's got a password system as well. Right, okay, so if I end up use wasting my continues, I can use a password. So, that's good. At least they've got a password system in this game. Right, so let's do that again for real this time. I'm just gonna, like, rush my way all the way back to that boss. I'm off to a good fucking start. Oh, you can actually grab things from the background, or you can grab that at least. Speaking of Yoshi's Island seeds. Yeah, because in Yoshi's Island you can eat watermelons and then you can spit the seeds. So it's, it's kind of like that, sort of. Okay then, that was kind of funny. Didn't think you could fucking pummel the caveman into the ground like that. And yeah, I'm playing as Joe. See, I wasn't sure which one was Joe and which one was Mac, but I assumed, well, naming order, so Joe would be player one and Mac would be player two. Turns out my, my, my theory, my game theory, as it were, was correct. So yeah, Joe is player one. Right, it shouldn't take too long to get back there again, now that I know, now that I know what I'm doing. Time for that wild ride again. So this part is basically Babby's first Donkey Kong Country minecart segment. Right, so you can't jump through the platform if you hold down and jump. Yep. Oh wow, I'm I sure I'm fucking good at dodging pranas. I almost said prana plants there. I love it when my brain does shit like that. I love how I hit almost every single fucking prana along the way. Prana fish. Not prana plant, prana flesh. Float of flesh. And we're not even 20 minutes into this and I'm already be unable to speak. Good job. I'm just gonna go and grab those donut currencies because there's a few tins there. Why not? Might as well, because it might actually help later. Come on. Ugh. Fucking hell. Oh, that just kills him instantly. How 
how do you get to the switch how, how do you get to the menu thing on this thing again is it like zl and zr yeah right okay then i'm not gonna rely too heavily on save states but just in case i mean i would like to finish this game in one sitting because i think it only takes like about a couple hours to beat this game You know, there's one really good SNES game that uh, I think a lot of people overlook that I found out about a few years ago, and I think I played through it. Not on stream, but I played through a good chunk of it, and I didn't finish it, but it was actually surprisingly good. And I don't know if it's on the Switch Online thing, I'm going to have to look, but it's, I think it's called Super Adventure Island. And it's not like any of the other Adventure Island games, it's more like a, a Metroidvania-style uh, Super Adventure Island game. And yeah, it's, it's actually really good. I, th I think that's what it's called, Super Adventure Island. I might be mistaken, but it's something Adventure Islands. I'll have to see if that's on the Switch Online thing. It's probably not, but who knows, it might actually be there. Right, well, this isn't too hot. I got the stone, six more to go. Oh shit, it's the Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> it's Chinese bootleg, American choice. Uh, Chaos Emeralds. Right, well, here's the Tiki village that I was looking for. I'm just going to make frequent, relatively frequent suspend points, just in case. Again, I'm not going to, like, abuse the safe stating thing, it's just for, you know, just for convenience. Oh, okay, so there's my password. Right, so here's the shop so I can buy shit. Uh, jumbo meat remodeling, whatever that is. 30, 30 for melon, meat and flowers. Oh, it actually gives you descriptions, right, okay. Your house will be improved. Um, wh Why would I need that exactly? You'll gain great strength. Is this like... I think this is just for healing, right, okay then. And flowers, I guess that might be important. I guess I'll come back to that. So to talk to these guys, you have to fucking hit the gongs rather than just press the up button. I don't know what what's so... Like, I I don't know why you, it, you can't just, like, press the up button. It's, it's weird to me because most, like, platformers, you can just press up to interact with shit. But yeah, whatever. You must collect the seven rainbow stones before you face Gork. Here, take mine. Wow. that That was quick. In here I thought I wouldn't get the second one until like another 20 minutes from now, but there we go, we just got two already. Right, okay then. Five to go, as the game says. I'll take you to your home, return to the village. Nah. I'm good, mate. Ah, oh, shit! I, I thought I pressed the button to cancel there, I pressed the wrong button. Can you take me back to Tiki Village, please? Okay, thank God, right. I thought I just lost like 10 minutes of progress there. Not that that's that much, but in, in the sense of the stream that would have been annoying. Like, I pressed the B button because I thought the B button was cancelled, but B and A are confirm. Okay then, so I can... Wait, what did he say? Sorry, I didn't, I didn't pay attention to what he said there. This telescope lets you see many places. Okay then, so... The village. Look at that. Um, does anything happen if I just like keep staring at this? Wasn't that that fucking hut that said that I couldn't go in even though it was like completely open? No, I can't see anything there. Right, what about Joe's hut then?
I'm guessing that other empty house was Max's house. Right, okay then. And Gork's cave. Gork being the villain. Yeah, this guy. He looks mean. <laughs> How the fuck am I seeing this, by the way? Like, where, where the fuck am I pointing the, mic the microphone? Where am I pointing the telescope from to actually get a good view like this? Whatever. Right, so I've got complete control now of this part. Like, the previous part you saw was, like, automated, like, after I beat the first boss. And I'm assuming this is the next level. Right, okay then. The snowy rock. He's not sure how he couldn't fit all that in one text box, but okay. An avalanche, hold on tight. <laughs> of course, the instant I pressed the jump button was the time I was not supposed to press the jump button. Ah, shit. <laughs> well, that's too late for that now. Yeah, I've never played this game before, I've only played like the first Joe and Mac, but I wanted to check this out because I played the first Joe and Mac like a couple months ago on stream. Cheat, cheat! Rip. Yeah, I think now would be a good time to bring up that the platforming physics are not super precise, like sometimes you go all over the place in the air. Like I was trying to grab onto that rope but it just wasn't happening. If I get a game over, I'm just going to reload that save state. It's going to run past these guys, don't feel like trying to dodge them right now. Anyway, welcome to the stream, Angelus. Yangelus. Angelus, whatever. I don't know, I, I think Angelus sounds better, but that's just me. I see. Tricky. Yeah, I see the trap. I can avoid the trap, but I run into just about every fucking thing else. Wow, really? I go all the way back out here? Is the volume okay? Is the game too quiet? I can turn that volume up if necessary. Ah, you dick. At least I got the checkpoint. Oh, okay then.
Ah, oh, shit. Do I need to get it from these guys? Ah, there we go. Nice pose. Well, this is a new weapon. Okay, this looks good actually. This this particular weapon may help. Yeah. Ah, oh, you shite. I'm I'm really bad at this. Oh, so what did that say? Did, did anyone catch that warp there before the screen faded to black? What was that? My brain, my brain did not quite process what that was there before the screen disappeared. Wow, really? I can't even fucking hit these things? Okay then. Yeah, get fucked. Okay, this, this weapon's quite overpowered, actually. Not that I'm complaining, I'll take it. Not sure why they call oh not, not not sure why they call this the white maze when there's not really much of a maze to this. It's just like walk straight forwards. I sense a boss. Oh, I can actually shoot upward as well, okay. do anything to this boss yet. Is that Triceratops? Yeah. So much for me trying to, like, brute force my way through that. Wow, really? So if you get a game over, you have to go all the way back here again? I mean, at least put me back in the fucking ice level, please. Right, so I'm kind of curious about something. Um, one, one second, I need to make sure this is the case. Um, that's the wrong place. I mean, at least I get to keep my money, but still, that's, that's a little bit rough. Right, so let me type this down real quick, because I want to see if the password, like, retains your count, like, your, your continues or whatever, or if you start with, like, three continues again. Because if it's the latter, then I don't need to resort to, like, save stating too much. F H R F N K F Q B M B B. 
Let me just make sure I type that in right. R R H D M F H R F N K F Q B M M B B. Sorry, I I stalled there. I said M twice. I know what I said. Right. Okay then. So let me just make a quick suspend point there and reset the game, just so that I can test the password thing to see if I get like three continues again when you do that. Actually, I've got the perfect passwords. Oh, wait a minute. Ah! Oh, and I don't think the letter I'm looking for is here. Right, okay, then I've got a better one for you. Close enough. Yeah, the letter U is not there, so I can't quite do that, but... Wait, is the letter U here? No, no I don't see it. Or you know what? Even better, we can do this. There you go. Now, now it has even more of a, of a of a an emphasis on it, I guess, because it looks like I'm censoring myself, but I'm not. Right, enough, enough fucking around. Let me just uh, type this in. R H D M. Yeah, R H D M. I put it on a notepad, so I'm just looking at the notepad right now. R H D M F H R F. I hope I got this right. Oh no, that's correct. Sorry, I thought that was wrong now for a second. I love it when I keep second guessing myself where I'm like, wait, did I type this in right? And then BMBB. BMBB. Right, so that, that works, but let's see how many... Does it tell me how many continues I've got left? I mean, it retains my... 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 Uh, coins. My... my coinage. I don't know about my continues though. Let me get a game over deliberately and find out. I love it when I walk back into the village. You know, in the time it takes me to wait for that avalanche to fall, I could probably die much faster just by, like, getting killed by the rats, so I'm gonna do that instead. Yeah, right, okay then. Just deliberately getting the game over so I can see how many continues I've got left, because I'm not sure if it continues reset with a password or what. Right, so how many continues do I have left? Okay, so it actually does reset your continues, thank god. Right, okay then, so... At least we got that. At least the game retains your money, but at the same time it resets your continues back up to three. So, as long as I know what the password is, I can keep trying. Right, so let's do this for real this time. It would suck if you had to, like, do the entire game with three continues, because I hate games with limited lives and continues. Especially for somebody like me who sucks at video games, I guess. By the way, when I said I was using the Switch Pro Controller's D-pad in place of the SN30 Pro because the SN30 Pro is having issues, I'm not kidding, I actually am using the D-pad on this thing. Not my favourite D-pad, but I guess it works. It's not the worst D-pad by any means, like I think the worst Nintendo D-pads that Nintendo's ever made was... Not, not counting the Joy-Cons because they're technically that's not a D-pad, it's four buttons. Masquerading as the D-pad, but the worst D-pad I think Nintendo's ever put out was 
the GameCube one because it's so goddamn tiny. I was going to say the Nintendo 64 there, but then I thought about it and it was like, wait a minute, I played Pokemon Puzzle League recently, that, that D-pad's actually pretty good. But yeah, no, the, the GameCube D-pad is way too small. It's uncomfortably small, like it's the kind of small where if you use it for more than 15 minutes, you start to feel carpal tunnel in your thumb, like it's that bad. I mean, it's still functional, it's just that it's not, it's, they, they need to make it bigger. They, they, they should have made it bigger, rather. If you want to talk about a functionally broken D-pad though, let's talk about the Xbox 360's D-pad, that one was garbage. On the round. Yeah, I think I'd rather use this than the seeds. This is infinitely better. I love that, like, do 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 sample, whatever it's called. How, how did I do that? Yeah, no, that, that just happens randomly. I, I don't know how I fucking did that. Let me experiment with the D-pad and the buttons, see how I did that exactly. Is it like a combination? Hang on. Don't you dare. Yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how I'm doing that exactly. That's fine, I'll just take this. No, it's not fine anymore. Taking too much damage. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how I did that exactly, because like, if I mash the D-pad around and press the button, sometimes it works. I just don't know exactly what I'm doing to get that to work. Is it down-up punch? No. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna, even going to linger around there. At least the game has the courtesy to fill your health up before you do the boss again, so... Hold right to win. There we go. 
just alternate the directions and he doesn't fire as much. Right, so four left. Plus I've got a lot more money now so I can buy some stuff. Let me just uh, make another save state. Also, I like how the fucking, like, did you see that villager that's, like, inside that hut? Like, her face was going right through the letter, but the, the little text box thing. Like, look at that again. Like, look at, like, that cave woman that's inside that hut. Look at her face, like, overlapping the text box. When it should be behind it. Yeah, you see that? <laughs> it's, like, overlapping it. I, I don't know what's going on with that, but all right. So I guess I need to buy the flowers to give to somebody. Hope she likes them. Um, she didn't seem to like them. I, I, what? I. So wait, is that just like a one in three chance? Hang on a minute. I'll try that one more time. I will pick this one. Oh shit. She didn't seem to like them. Wow, really? So that's just, I, I don't know if that's like, eh, whatever. Hi Zachary. Yeah, I'm, I'm, your guess is as good as mine, I'm not sure what's with that thing that I just did right now, but I, I guess I wasted 60 coins just doing that. The Deep Tropics. Well, this game is called Lost in the Tropics, so... I would move over if this caveman would get out of my way. Can't tell if those hurt me or not. Shade. Uh. All right, we're good. Try riding him. Press down and jump to exit. Oh, I see. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Right, okay then. So it's a temporary power up. Get hit once you lose it, unfortunately. I see something up there. There's a fruit up there, I, I want it. Don't think I can reach it. I, th I think there's a fruit up there, there's like something red peeking out from behind that, but can't seem to fit can't seem to get it, so whatever. Moving on. <laughs> That reminds me of something, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Fucking killer beans. Trouble in the treetops. Right, okay then. So I think each level has like three acts and then there's a the boss, so this must be act two. So yeah, the game's alright. It's not, not the best platformer out there, but it's nothing. It's like you could do worse, I guess. I'm getting used to the weird platforming physics in this. Nice try. <laughs> yeah, just fly over everything.
There we go. Shame I can't bring that through this door, but at least I didn't lose it that time. The Windy Valley. Okay then, so I guess the boss is at the end of this act. And there he goes, dead. Yep, boss coming up. Oh, so that is an amazing frame to freeze on, did you see that? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, well, I got lucky there. That reminds me of something. I, th I think there's like a boss fight in... Fuck, what's that game called again? Like, the Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse or something? Like, there's a boss fight that does something like this. It's bullshit. Wow, really? How did I miss? There we go. That wasn't too bad. So yeah, the rate we're going, we'll probably have this finished within the next hour, I guess, because I've already got four out of the eight... the... the nine? Out of the eight? Why, why can't I speak tonight? Like, it's, my brain's trying to find the number. I know what the number is, but my brain can't fucking do it. Uh, I've, I've only got, like... I've already got four out of seven. Pardon my inability to speak, like it's even worse than usual tonight, holy shit. But yeah, we're, we're, we're doing alright, I guess. So, only three more levels to go at this rate. Uh, let me quickly... I'm just gonna make a suspend point every time I finish a level. Just for convenience sake. Have I been to this uh, area yet? I forgot if I've been to this one. Oh, it's this town, okay. I don't know what remodeling does, but fuck it, I'll, I'll, I'll see what this does. Did I... wait, did I buy that? I guess I did, because I've got less money now. She really liked them. Okay, so what does that do exactly? What? Excuse me? Well, that escalated fucking quickly. What the fuck? I didn't expect to get married on the spot. Okay, well, I guess I, I'm married now. Right, okay, moving on from that. Uh, let's look for the next level. I guess there's a level down here. Yeah, there is. The murky swamp plans, right? Okay then, so... <laughs> Again, that, that escalated really fucking fast, I wasn't expecting that. Like, I thought I was gonna get, like, an extra heart container or something for giving all the flowers, but no, you, you just get married. Oh, that's an animal buddy? Right, okay then. This is kind of an Adventure Island-ish, actually. Like, the Animal Buddies, because that game has, like, Animal Buddies you can raid. Just wanna get rid of him. Oh. Alright, well, I don't know what the fuck just hit me there, but it was behind that tree. And I can't land on the, the little bean things there with the dinosaur. But hey, I've got, I've got the, what do you call it? I've got like the shockwave attack now, so that's good. Oh, 
Oh, that's bullshit. I should have had iframes there. Well, eating that. <laughs> Kamikaze pterodactyl. So if they miss, they just die. Suicide mission. Let's find that skeleton key. There is. Yeah, sometime I think I'll do a one-off of uh, Congo's Caper and I'll show you what that's like because that's a pretty decent platformer. Tunnel of Horrors. Okay, so I can actually kill these things. So I got around to watching Vinny's Sunday stream content and the, the Mario fan game that he played on Sunday was amazing. I forgot what it was called, it was like Mario's Meat something, but it was it was really good. Got a lot of laughs out of that today when I was watching that. Wow, that, that was fucking shit. That was anticlimactic as fuck, wasn't it? Just didn't even get a chance to use it. Uh oh. I'm not sure if those things can crush you, but I, I don't want to find out the hard way. Seems like they would crush into those spikes. Wait, what the fuck? I can- I can drink water? I can't heal from it, but I can spit water. That's- that's weird. Oh, why did I do that? Why did I not pick that up? I mean, I can tell you why I didn't pick up. I didn't press the down button, but why didn't I press down that time? That was stupid. What's that? Oh, that's background detail. Well, I'll tell you this, it's certainly an interesting sequel. I mean, it's better, I would say it's better than the arcade sequel thing that I played. Again, if you haven't seen me play like the other two games that I played on stream, I think the VOD for it is on YouTube, isn't it, at the moment? So, yeah, it's on there. How the fuck do I... Yes, I know game, but yeah, it doesn't seem like I can make it through that without getting hit. Yeah, that's bullshit. Kind of bullshit, that part. Well, I lost my shockwave attack now because of that. See, now it's set up to not kill me, but th that was bullshit the first time around. Oh, I remember you. So yeah, some of these bosses are callbacks to the bosses from the first one. Just with nicer graphics, I guess. That said, I don't like how the dinosaurs look. They look semi-realistic, but then you hit them in the face and they do that cartoony, bulging eyeball thing. <laughs> really bad at dodging that.
Yeah, I got this. Two more to go. Right, so I'm kind of curious actually, before we continue down that path, I am going to go back to my home village and see if my wife is inside my new house, which I recently remodelled. So I'm kind of curious now. I think I talked to this guy to get back to my home village. Yeah, here we go. Right, so let's, let's go back to my house, which is all the way over here, I think. Wait, is it this house? Oh my god, <laughs> she actually fucking is here. Welcome home, sweetheart! What the fuck? So you can one, remodel your fucking house, and two, marry somebody and have them in said remodeled house. What, what, what even is this game anymore? I, I don't know. I was not expecting that out of a fucking Joe and Mac game of all things. So after beating that previous level, it seems like the, the next area has opened up, so I'm going to go that way. Okay, we've got Fire Road in. The Scarlet Carpet. <laughs> the Scarlet Carpet, that's a good name. I like that. I mean, it is cool that you can consume water to spit out, but you can only spit out one at a time. Like, you can't, like, stockpile them if you eat water, you have to spit it out before you can, like, eat it again. I mean, you can keep eating the water, but or I drink the water, rather, but... You, you can only ever shoot out one water, if that makes sense, and then you have to, like, get more water. So it's very limiting in that regard. Pretty sure I held the up button there, but okay. Yeah, so the, the club with the spikes on it is your shockwave attack. Let's see if I can keep that for the rest of the stage so I can use it on the boss for an easy cheesy win. Probably gonna end up losing a life between now and that boss, but we'll try. Can't say I won't give it the old college try. At least this isn't one of those games where if you get hit you lose your fucking power up. I hate games that do that shit. It's the worst. Right, so we went from the scarlet carpet to the boiler. Right, okay then. So who the fuck owns uh, Joe and Mac? Is it Data East? I think it's Data East. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, I like how the game didn't fucking give me a heads up about that. Like, the previous parts it was like, run, but in this part it's like, oh, good luck figuring that out on your own dipshit. We can't be held responsible if you don't react to something you didn't know was coming. I don't like the look of that fire down there.
Yep. For some reason, I, ha I thought I could knock those out of the way, but I guess you're not allowed to. Right, well, here's the best weapon in the game, so I'm going to use that. Well, that's totally fair. I think I'm almost at the boss now, because this is like the third act, and there's some meat, so I think, yeah, I think the boss is just ahead, so... Almost there. It's gonna make a little suspend point here. See, I've been making a lot of suspend points tonight, but keep in mind that I haven't really been loading them. So... It's not like I've technically been cheating that way, even though I think eventually I'm gonna end up doing that at least once, but... So I'm going to be fighting a T-Rex next. Yeah, I think that foot tracks where I am. Look at the fucking detail on that sprite. Oh, come on. Good. Alright, I think now is the time to load my safe state back up because I'm not doing that whole level again. No sorry, Bob. Right, well, I knew I was going to eventually load a safe state, so there you go. Nah. Nah, fam, we're, we're doing that again. Why? So, sorry, I'm a dumbass. I, I forgot the foot actually keeps track of where you are. That's why I get hit the first time. It begins, like, me abusing the safe stating function begins. Oh, so you can actually jump through those things? Right, okay. I like how it fucking fires, like, fireballs out of its nostrils. There we go. Right, one stone to go. Question is, where is it? Ah, oh, shit. I did not mean to come back here. Can I just leave? No? Right, okay then. Well, it's my last life anyway. Let me get a game over so I can continue. So, if you walk into any of those level gates, you just automatically start. You don't really get a choice in the matter, so... Yeah, that was kind of a mistake on my part. Let me talk to this old guy again. Does he have any advice? 
You must now face Gork. This meat will help you. Wait, I only have six of the seven stones, though. But okay then, thank you for the meat, I guess. So, wait, wait a minute. I can buy flowers again? Wait a minute. Gork is attacking the village? Oh, so I can't buy anything right now. Right, I see. So, where, where the fuck is Gork? The village seems fine. Unless he's talking about my home village. Let me go back to my home village. I'll take you to your home. Right, okay then. Right, okay then. So, I need to fight Gork here. I guess I have to do this part before I get access to the final stone. So yeah, there, there's Gork. Good name. No more Mr. Nice Guy? I don't think you were a nice guy to begin with, Gork, but okay. The twist is going to be that it turns out this was Congo all, all along. Like, the, the guy from Congo's caper. Ouch. You shall never get the crown. Okay then. See ya. Okay, I got the last stone from him. Right, okay then. So that's what it was. I got all the Chaos Emerald. I mean the Rainbow Stones. Right, so I think we're almost done with the game then. So yeah, it's a fairly short game. So where am I going now? That's the big question. Let me make sure my wife is okay. <laughs> just... I, I still can't fucking get over just how quickly you get married in this game. Yeah, she's fine. They're in love. He is married. Thank you for that vital information, game. I mean, if we're going by video game logic, I'm married. Does that mean the game is over? Because most games, like, the ultimate goal is to, like, get married or, like, save the princess or shit like that. So, oh, that's a nice yawning animation. So, so technically the story should be happy end, but I guess it's not. Right, so what happens if I buy more flowers? That, can I get a fucking second wife in this game? Oh, okay, if you just buy flowers it says I'll send it to your home. Right, never mind. Wouldn't that be funny if you could just like get married multiple times in this game? That'd be fucking weird. I wouldn't be surprised if we could fucking do that in the Japanese version, because the, the Japanese version of the, the arcade Joe and Mac 2 game had a lot of fucking weird shit in it. For those that don't remember me playing that game a while back. Oh yeah, I need to heal myself, that's what I'm here for. Right, so, do that. Just buy a couple big meats. So the money in this game is mostly useless because there isn't really any real point to it. I mean, you can heal yourself, but there's like... What if I remodel my house again? What does that do exactly? Okay, so I've got the Congo's caper. In fact, let me let me show you real quick. Hang on, before we continue, let me look for this image just so that I can show you what I'm talking about. Congo's caper title screen. See if I can find an image of this real quick and show you what I'm talking about. What a fucking weird cameo to include, but yeah, there's like another game by Data East which is meant to be kind of a spin-off to Joe and Mac. Even though Joe and Mac are not in it, but it's like basically just like a, a game that's similar to this. And I recognize the, the picture, but I'm, I'm gonna like show you the exact image that it comes from so you can see it for yourself. So yeah, here's the just ignore the gamedatabase.org image because that was the first image I could find. So yeah, this is a, co a game called Congo's Caper, like I've said 50 times already, but if you give me a moment just to crop that down so we can compare. And there you go. It's the exact same, almost the exact same sprite, really. In fact, it might actually be pixel for pixel. 
Again, weird little cameo there, but there you go. So what happens if I... If I remodel, does that mean I add more stuff to it? Oh, hang on. If I remodel, do I add more stuff to my house? Let's find out. I mean, I've got a bunch of money, so might as well try this one more time. Your house will be remodeled. Right, let's go see my house. Oops. Yeah, it adds more and more stuff every single time. Like, that's, that's a fucking... Like, what, what's the point in this exactly? I, I was going to say that's a weird gaming mechanic, but it's not even that. It's just something, I guess. But, okay. Right, okay, so I guess we're going after Gork now. Where is his hideout? I guess I need to continue going down that fiery path that I was going down. Maybe it's in that direction. Nope. Oh, I see it. But how do I get there? I think I have to go through this level to get to it. Let me just make a suspend point there, just in case this is not the level I'm looking for. Right, okay, turns out this is the place I'm supposed to be going to. So yeah, we use the power of the seven Chaos Emeralds to form a rainbow bridge across to that. Oh my god! I, I said that as a joke, I was making reference to Ocarina of Time. Jesus Christ. I didn't think that was actually what was going to happen, I thought it would just like make me fly over or something, but no, it just makes a rainbow bridge. Right, okay, so rainforest. So we're almost there, we're almost done. But yeah, now if you haven't seen Ocarina of Time, I played the randomizer for that fairly recently. To get to Ganon's Tower, you have to get all the medallions and then form a rainbow bridge to get into that place. Ouch. Good shit. Again, platforming is not exactly on point, it's a little bit slippery. Which is not the kind of platforming you want for platforms these narrow, but th that narrow, but whatever. These narrow. Good brain, yeah, say all the wrong words. S say everything in the wrong way. <laughs> Ooh. Yard. We're entering the bone zone. Are we doing boss refights now? There's the Stegosaurus from earlier. Oh yeah, I can't attack it yet. It's a boss rush. Right, okay then.
Right, and now it's time for the... What was this one again? Stegosaurus? Or a Triceratops, sorry, not Stegosaurus. We just did Stegosaurus. Yeah. Good. Would be nice if they could fill your health between each fight. And then next up, T-Rex, I think. Oh no, wait, it's the... What would he call this one again? The fish dinosaur? I'm not, I'm not sure what he called this one. Ah. It's a Plesiosaurus. I don't know if I said that right, but I see the message. Oh, that was weird. Clipped on the ledge there. Really? No extra health? Oh, come on! Bullshit! How, how do you reset? Uh, how do you rewind, sorry? On the SNES Classic thing? Or not Not the SNES Classic, the, SNES, the Switch Online? I know there's a rewind function, I forgot how you do it. I'm not accepting that, I'm fucking rewinding back to undo that. They have to hold the ZL or ZR button? ZL and ZR? Oh, I see, you have to hold it right, okay, thank you. No, that was, that was bullshit. Don't you love it when that happens in video games where you die at the same time as the boss, but you, it still counts as the lose anyway, even though the boss died? The foreboding cave, did I get some health at least? Nope. Just gonna fight him with one hit? Okay then. Welcome to your doom. <laughs> you cannot win. Right, okay then. Shit. Yeah, maybe I should do this with three full lives, so let's, let's do that with three full lives then. Fuck it. If I can get to him with one life to spell, then I can like fight him with like full health. How did I get back there again? You were streaming earlier and you had terrible frame rate drops. Yeah, I, I noticed you were streaming, but I, I wasn't watching. I was having some frame drops myself, but I think that seems to have ironed itself out a little bit, even though.
funny how you never see that enemy anywhere else in the game. Like that one caveman that just like beats the shit out of you. Oh yeah, so I forgot to mention this yesterday on stream, but I got a brand new mini dock for my Switch because my previous mini dock. For those, like my regulars on the stream, also, where did that platform go? Wasn't there a second platform right there? Yeah, I'm going back. Going back to the past to play the shit games that suck ass. Oh, I thought there was like a second platform. I guess I was mistaken. Right, never mind then. But yeah, I had to switch mini dock that I use for streaming purposes because it's easier than setting up like my official dock. But lately it's been having issues where it would like easily disconnect or it wouldn't push the signal through to the, the TV. So I just bought a new one off Amazon and it works much better than my old mini dock so I'm quite happy with it. I'm using it right now. It's crazy that you have to refight all the bosses and then fight the final boss with no health in between any of them. I think it's possible to get three shots there when he does that. Bullshit. <sighs> Usually when you defeat the boss, like, all the projectiles don't actually hurt you, but that one does. Right, so time for this fucker again. The best part about this Switch mini dock that I recently got to replace my kinda like busted old one is, well there's two things about it actually that I really like. The first thing is the base on it that the Switch sits on top of to like dock on to, you know, dock in. It's got like a spring loaded base to it, it's kind of hard to explain but basically it takes the pressure off the Switch. So it's not like it just like tries to like, it's, it's hard to explain, basically it makes it so that it doesn't like try to force the Switch into a plug if that makes sense. And it's actually really good for the system because I think that'll be good for the long run so it doesn't like wear out the USB-C port on the bottom of the switch. But the other good thing about it is that unlike the previous mini dock, I can actually wake up my switch from sleep using it. Because the mini dock that I used before wouldn't let me do that shit, but this one does. So yeah, pretty pretty happy about that. I'm gonna make a suspend point here. If I can beat these next two bosses with this life, and then I can die to the next boss, and then die to... what was his name? Gork? And then I can get like five hit, hit points again. Pfft. Why did I do that? The easiest ta attack to dodge and I still got hit by it.
Shit. Right, just for the sake of brevity, I'm just like gonna rewind. Just to like beat this thing. Sorry for kind of safe scumming, semi safe scumming. I don't I don't feel like doing this fight from the star again. I mean the fact that I beat these mini bosses already should be enough. I mean they're mini bosses at this point, but they're bosses. Come on. There we go. Right, so I'm purposely gonna die on the on the final boss just so I can start with five hearts and then I'm gonna make a save state. And I'll try to refrain from rewinding on this fight. I just wanted to get past that boss rush again because I already did that shit. That's why I kept rewinding now because I was done with that. <laughs> I got stuck on in midair. Right, here we go. Look at my face. I've got kind of a strategy, but I need I need to time it just right. If he jumps toward me, he's open for an attack. But I've got to watch out. I don't, I don't want to get too close to him in case he punches me. Yeah, like that. His fist fucking grows gigantic when he punches, when he does the, the huge punch. Emphasis on the word huge. There we go. Gork is dead. Is that really it? Great crown, give me power. Wait, am I speaking? That sounds like something a villain would say. Oh wait, Gork said that, right, okay. I feel it, I feel it. The magic, the power. Phase two, right, okay then, so it's not over. Check out that background mode 7 effect. Shape. Right, okay then, good thing I made a, su a suspend point. I think I can beat the first phase without... You know, with without... Wow. I was about to say, I think I can beat the first phase without getting hit and I immediately fucking get hit before I could even finish that thought. Oh, Jesus. I didn't fucking know you could do that. You didn't do that the last time. Just fucking swooping on in there. Sliding into my DMs. Ouch. Okay, well, never mind about me beating him without getting hit once. Never mind fucking three times. If I can get a successful phase one where I have my full health intact, I will make a save state. But I'm just going to try with two hits for now. I guess I can't hit him when he's spinning. When he spins.
There we go. Don't ask me how I did that, it was just two hit points, somehow I did it. Okay, so Gork is just straight up dead, he just dissipated, dis dissipated, is that the word? He just disappeared. Which I would assume he just melted and died, so yeah, okay then. We got the crown. And I guess we're going back to our house. Yeah, we're going back, we're going back home to our fucking wife. Of which we fucking married in like two seconds. The crown has been returned. Thanks to our hero. Yeah, there's our fucking wife. Welcome home. I love you. Right, okay then, so... I, I, I guess fucking Mac is forever alone then. Right, well there you go then, that was Joe and Mac 2 lost in the tropics. I, that, that was an okay platformer, I think I like the first one a little bit better. But it's the, again, you could do worse I guess if you're looking for platformers on this NES. That was, that was kind of a funny note to go out on. It's like, oh, I've got a home and a family and everything, but he, he's got nothing. No furniture, no wife, nothing. Sorry, nothing. Right, okay. <laughs> I, I guess, like, if you play this cooperatively, then player two can also buy stuff and then you can both get... I, I guess the best ending is to have, like, a fully furnished home and, and a wife for each character, but I'm not going to do that. It's not really worth the effort, I don't think. So yeah, that was an alright game, I guess. Uh, eventually I'll check out, I'll show you guys Congo's Caper, because that's a pretty decent platformer. I've got a, a little bit of nostalgia for that one, actually. So, eventually I'll do that as a one-off on the stream. I thought this game was going to take me about an hour, but it almost took me twice that. I've been streaming for about an hour and 50 minutes now, so yeah. Yeah, so it is Data East that makes these games. Data East made a lot of arcade games. And eventually made, like, console games, but they're mostly known for arcade games. Oh yeah, I've had this fucking thing up the whole time, the OBS stats. I only put that up because my internet was being a bit choppy at the start, but it's fine now. Yeah, sorry about that. The end. Right. Well, that was a uh, that, that was something. I didn't hate it, but it was it was not the best thing I've ever played. But I, I guess it was interesting for streaming purposes. I, I guess the best moment in that was just like getting married to some random woman in like two seconds without anything other than oh here's flowers. Okay, we're married now. All right. I guess this is the law of the cavemen. Like if you give somebody flowers, you have to marry them on the spot. It's like a shotgun wedding, but more efficient. Uh, can I get back to the title screen from here? I think it's just stuck on the end. Like, I'm, I'm mashing the face buttons and start and select, nothing's happening, so yeah. It's one of those games. Right, okay then, so that was Joe and Mac. Joe and Mac 2, Lost in the Tropics, that was an alright game. So eventually, like I said, I will check out Congo's Caper, which is like a spin-off to the Joe and Mac series. Similar game, but I like that game's aesthetic a lot more than Joe and Mac, so I will eventually show you guys that in the coming, I don't know, weeks or so. I'm not sure when I'm going to do that, but eventually, keyboard being eventually, probably in a couple months, if not sooner. Just whenever I feel in the mood for it, I will do that. Mode 7! 
So yeah, that's the end of that, I guess.